Hi guys, set of film here. This video is part of my pen script series. Uh, I've been gaming lessons on Fiverr and uh, yeah, I decided to publish uh, the recordings. Sorry uh, about my French accent, but uh, maybe you will be able to learn one thing or two uh, about pen scripts. All right, thanks for watching and enjoy the video. This one? Okay. Yeah. So basically, what you want to do is to create like a variable for your entry. So for a long entry, like this, uh, it's going to be a boolean. Do you know? Uh, do, do you have coded a little bit before, or are you yeah, are you the Yeah, I've done Quant Nomads Pine script course, so I know okay. I know what the things do. I just don't know how to put them together as a logical structure. Okay. Yeah, so I, I know what an input ball is, it, you know, it turns it on and off, but, and a variable, but, yeah. Okay. So the idea is to create this kind of a variable, and we are going to construct uh, the condition through, with the script, through the, through the, the, the indicators that we're going to add. So SSL, I, SSL, I don't, um, what is SSL? Uh, don't tell, it doesn't tell me anything um, right now, but. Okay, yeah. Uh, go into the indicator section, it will come up. Sorry, what? If you go up to uh, indicators. Okay, uh, the it's top a bit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so I'm going to, to save this one so I can go back to it later. I'm going to add, the, add to the chart. Okay. So SSR, I'm going to find it. Um, is that SSL? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Good. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can find it. What does it stand for? Oh, what does it stand for? That's a good question. Uh, I can't remember now. Um, I'll find it and copy the code. Come on. Oh, we can start with MFI. With, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, money flow index. Yeah, here it is. SSL account. Can send it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we're going to pick the, the code. So some part of it, that's the, the first line. Don't need it. And we're going back to our script. So we're going to paste. And the idea is to is to keep the only thing we need. So we don't need the... Maybe I can add it to the chart before doing that. So... So money flow index. Okay. So going back to the script, I'm going to paste it. I'm going to remove what we don't need, so the graphics, we don't need it. Oh yeah, the plots, yeah, okay. The plots. Uh, if you want, you can just comment it, so you, uh, you can keep it like that. Okay. Uh, okay, so you get it, thanks. Um, okay. So you so your condition for entry uh, for MFI is uh, MFI green. Yeah. Uh, well, the, be, what do you mean? Oh uh, yeah, it'll be oh, whatever the midline is on that. Hmm. And the that? midline is uh, above yeah. the midline. Yeah. Okay, so basically above fifty. So the midline the midline is fifty. So we got yeah. the MFI here. So this is uh, this variable. So we're going to use it. What I like to do is to go step by step. I'm going to create like a variable to store to save the condition for the MFI. So I'm going to call it, um, for example, uh, long entry um, condition condition uh, one, so number one. Okay. And it's going to be uh, 
MF, so our MFI value. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's going as it will have to be uh, above wow. 50. Okay. So we're starting to get uh, our condition. So, and our final condition will be simply like this. We're going to construct it later, but it's going to be like that. It's going to be. Okay. And then we will be uh, condition two, three, four. Oh, I see. Okay, let's go like that. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, uh, yeah. that's how I like to do it. So we get our first condition already. And if we have, if we, so here we have a version three of SSL. Yeah. Mm, yeah, we can make it work, I guess. It's no version, isn't it? A little trick I like to do also to organize my script. Uh, you can make section like this with uh, brackets. Yeah, okay. Uh, using comments and brackets. And yeah. So when you're done, you can do this. And boom. Oh, nice. Now we can move on to SSL code. So we're gonna keep the gonna keep the, the inputs, I guess. You, you will need it. Um, okay. So, so this is since uh, this is version three, we have some little change to do. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Um, yeah. So I guess it's float. This should work. Need to save. Just see to visualize. I'm going to add it. Uh, I'm going to add it to the to the chart so I can see what okay. it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's a channel like this. Yeah. So what is our condition? It's going to be. Um, Channel is green, so for long. So I, I suppose it is uh, the, the the green line is above the red line. For... Yeah, no, it just it just changes color. That's all. Mm, yeah, but uh, we have two colors here. Uh, it, the line. Oh, yeah, the I suppose, yeah, green above red. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Make... Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we, we need to be precise to have the condition to make sure it is yeah. going to work. Exactly like we want. Um, okay. So here we have uh, our variables, so we can see the up and down. Oh uh, yeah. Mm. I don't see the plot, so okay. I didn't. So SSL up is the green one, and down is the red one. Okay. So the same way we're going to to build our condition for, for SSL. So here we are MFI. Okay. Yeah. This is condition number one. SSL is going to be condition number two. And it's going to be, uh, so we have SSL up. So this is the green line. It has to be above the red line. Oh uh, yeah. Basically. Yeah. And now we can do this. And we can already, I think, um, maybe not, but we're starting to have uh, a Boolean. So we got our long entry condition and maybe we can already plot it. Um, so if we do justice, let's see what it do. Uh, it, it's not going to work. Uh, yeah, we need uh, something like plot, plot shape because it's it's a boolean. Okay. Can't use plot. And we can use like. Um... It's a shape. It's a shape. 
triangle up size and color I'm going to give it a green color okay, let's see what it gives us still have an error, an error somewhere yeah okay okay so now we have a condition so we can see uh, already uh, that uh, it's going to be true our condition is going to be true uh, when we have a green triangle and yeah. it's false when we do not have one so we already have uh, a condition that's working so you can do uh, the same the same process I just did you can do the same with EMA uh, also other indicators I guess okay. uh, so so right now do you have any question uh, whatsoever on the what I just did um, if I want to have the ability to turn the inputs on and off ah yeah we can see that yeah so, where do you put do you put that make that a boolean at the beginning or okay yeah usually we, we put that in the beginning so we can create, create uh, an input section like this. Okay. And we can create, uh, we're going to use a uh, Boolean inputs. Yeah. I like to call it uh, enable, uh, enable uh, something like enable, um, for example, um, SSL and something like this. Okay. And give it default value to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Title uh, if you want. Uh, something like this. Okay. And then you, you're going to use that variable to In front of to change section. your condition. Yeah. 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 Okay. So since here we are, we are using uh, end uh, logical gate, so so those those two have to be true. To, for the long entry to be true so yeah if we do not want to use uh for example the ssl we do something like this we're going to ask do we want to use ssl yes or no if yes we have our condition and okay. if not we're going to use true so that it does not have uh, uh, an impact yeah. on the final condition so it's going to be so true. Code, enable SSL. What's after it? Is that a question mark? Can't quite see it. Yeah. Oh, it's an yeah. arrow. Arrow. Is it okay? It's a question mark. It's it's a, a ternary operator. Yeah. I see. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can. Yeah. If you have yeah, a doubt, fine. if you have any doubt, you can control click, and you have some more Number information. Oh, cool. Okay. So basically, when you need resources, you can use the documentation. So this yeah. is, uh, this is uh, a lot to, to read, but uh, yeah, sometimes it's, it's useful. And you have also the reference. So this is what uh, we just saw when we click. This is the okay. reference. So the reference is to to see every every uh, little function of the, the paint trip. Okay. Um, so yeah, we can do the same thing with uh, MFI if you want. Yeah. Now you put on MFI. Like this, yeah. I'm going to move it on a... right here. Okay, so uh, now we have our inputs. So if, if for example, I will I turn on uh, MFI, we should see a green green triangle every time uh, we have our channel that is green. So that is yeah, up. yeah, and it works. right yeah that's good uh maybe you can move <laughs> on uh, to the filter at the adx filter oh uh, yeah that'd be interesting uh if you have any other question do not hesitate to interrupt me yeah sure no no it's good okay 
So uh, okay, I'm going to to bring out the ADX. Average Jackson index. Okay. So same thing. I'm going to pick the ADX code. I'm going back to my script. We create an uh, ADX factor uh, section like this. So we have some inputs, we have uh, some functions that are used to, to calculate the signal. And then we also have the signal. So basically, we're just going to use the sig, so this variable. And so for the condition, uh, price when threshold setting takes trade. Yeah, it could be, say, set it to 15 or 20, something mm -hmm. like that. Above or below, something like this? Above, yeah, it's above. Mm, so, okay, so above. So, we are going to add another condition. Basically, this is the same process, same kind of process. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, so a sig. So we want to have uh, above, so we're going to be above, for, for example, this. Uh, if we want to have uh, an input, we can use like this. Right, and okay. we can replace it. Um, just see, and same thing if you want to turn it on or off in the inputs, we can use another input boolean like this. Okay. So if we have the filter, we will uh, have this condition. Otherwise, it's just going to be true. Okay. Yeah. Here. So, so in this case, the filter is working like uh, your condition for entry, your other conditions. So. Yeah, yeah. It will add up to the to the condition like this, and that's basically it. So if we increase it, so what do we have? We have um, signal. Uh, it must be above okay so if we increase it we should uh, see less signals okay yeah 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 all right so what should we uh, do next um i don't know maybe the v wap and that would be right v wap mm, okay so the wap is a bit more complex indicator so that we'll see Oh, was it? Okay. Uh, first, do we have something built in? Yeah, there should be. Periodic VWAP. Uh, let's see. Let's yeah, it's, it's a bit more complex than the others. Looks <laughs> like it. Yeah. So let's see. Volume-weighted average price. Okay, so we got uh, yeah, this session. Okay, so we got a line like this, a plot. Basically, 
Hm. And so the condition, what is it is? It is a um, uh, VWAP daily. So you want it to set daily? Mm. Yeah, or yeah, and the ability to change it, I suppose. Mm. Session week, month, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's it's been a while I use this indicator, so and it's a bit complex. I can see, yeah. <laughs> uh, Is, I thought there was an inbuilt VWAP in in hmm? PineScript, isn't it? Isn't there an in, inbuilt VWAP in PineScript? Uh, built in. Yeah, I thought so. I thought you could just do input input dot VWAP. You know, it was there. No, 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 not that easy. No, uh, input. You have the, the list here. It's uh, no, it's uh, it's more like uh, variable types. It's not. Yeah, okay. uh, it's not going to be technical indicators. This is going to be yeah, okay. cool, integer price stuff like this. Mm. Um, yeah, this one is going to take a bit longer. So what is doing? We have anchor uh, session, which is a session, and it's version five. So it's not even version five. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you want to move it to to version five, we, can, we can use yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Size so this feature. You can use it. Okay, so now it is converted. Yeah, basically we would uh, we we would need to add uh, an anchor for day. Uh, okay. I guess. Uh, but this is a periodic VWAP. I don't know if you can have like uh, something much simpler. Um, VWAP. What an NPM? Let's see. This is your strategy. <laughs> uh, what? Um, Yeah, it's going to take a while to, to create it from scratch. Mm. What do you want to do? Do, do? do you want to continue working on studying VWAP or do you want to, 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 to see something <laughs> else? <laughs> How long is the VWAP going to take? About half an hour, you reckon? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, it's been a while since I used it. And so basically, just a plot. Uh, what do you want to do with WeWap anyway? I just have it as like a daily filter, you know, so price above the daily, you take along. Okay. Yeah. All right. So maybe we can find uh, find something. So basically, we have our VWAP uh, value, which is this plotted, and the same way we're going to to use that value to create to add it to our um, conditions. So going back to the script, yeah.
So view up is more complex because it will add up the volume of each bar for the for the session. Yeah, I can say that. And it will usually reset uh, on uh, the start of the session. But here we have uh, something different. So I don't use to to this one. So what do we got here? Um, okay, so when you you will when you add uh, a lot of indicators like this, you will have some some trouble with the names. So sometimes so sometimes you have to to rename the, the variables like this. Okay. So for example, like this. Like that. Okay. So yeah, we got our value. I'm sorry, I'm a little sick. <laughs> oh yeah, oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll let you go back to bed in a bit. No, I'm fine, but I just, my throat is like uh, oh, melting no. a bit. Uh, so be So yeah, we're going to use that. And we are same principle. We're going to create another condition. So we want well, we want close. Uh, we want the price to be above it. So we're going to use yeah. Do you know to close. how it works? Close, open, uh, high and low. Do you do you know how it works? This is uh, uh, Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know how, how they work? I don't, I don't actually. Well, not at this moment. Not really. So the cross basically is uh, is when it's uh, this part of the candle, so this is, uh, the right part. The open okay. is going to be uh, the beginning of the candle, so on the left. Oh uh, right yeah, here. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, sure. So you see this? Okay. Yeah. And so, uh, do you know about the execution model of the the script? Yeah. Yeah, you know it executes on each bar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, I understand that. Okay. So the joys of repainting and all that. Yeah. 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 So it's going to be the same uh, as the others. We can add uh, an input there as well. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. It will be what? Right. And yeah, don't forget to add it at the end. And long, uh, yeah, okay. So you you will have to do the same thing with shorts, but uh, yeah, yeah, just reverse the logic. Wrong, yeah, same logic. Yeah, uh, you will have two plots, uh, two variables. So one for short, one for long. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I wanted to 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 do the V web, but uh, I don't think we have time. <laughs> it's a big session. Uh, I don't think session is for. I think it's for stocks or something like this. But basically, I would uh, add something like day. So let's see, so one second. If we use a week, what does it see? Okay, so we get something like this. So it will reset every week. We yeah. should be able to add a day. So we add it like this on the list. And then uh, here on the switch, on the if. Um, we can do something with this. And basically, this variable um, it will check if we have a new day. So, <laughs> how do we do this? Uh, it's same day. Hmm. So yeah, month. Uh, 
period starts, you can use that, I guess. Do we have a day function? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, day of month, maybe. Yeah, we can use day of month, yes. So there starts. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's complicated because it's playing, it's playing with dates and stuff, so it gets uh, quickly okay. in every kind of uh, programming language. When we play with dates, it gets really complicated. Yeah, I see. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to try this uh, just in case it works. And uh, we'll see. And we'll see. Maybe it works. If not, I, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not on the good indicator. So this one, okay. VWAP day. And I'm not plotting the VWAP, so this is normal. Can plot it. I think it's going to be useful. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I don't think it's working, but uh, it's, it would be something like this. Need to we need to check for uh start of the day. And I don't know by heart how to do it, so Yeah, it's complicated, isn't it? Mm. Then we have this maybe trading day. Next day. Yeah, other than that, uh, I think we saw almost everything. So the email is going to be quite simple, OBV as well, it's just oscillator. Yeah. Do, do, you, do you feel like you can add yourself? Uh, yeah, I could do, I've got both of those. Yeah, that's fine. That's not a problem, really. I'll have a go anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll have a go. Okay. Um, Yeah, so do you have any other question or, or not? I think we're running out of time, but yeah, besides okay. that, yeah. we, we can, I think we, we got something. What do you, what, uh, do you think about uh, what we just saw? Yeah, it's good. It's just the VWAP just confuses the hell out of me. Yeah, uh, me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just need I'll, uh, to... I'll... To find a way to start uh, to know when uh, the, the one bar is uh, a new day. Yeah, right, isn't it? Uh, maybe uh, let's try five, five minutes, five more minutes, and we'll see. Yeah, okay, that'd be amazing. Uh, So we have a function for day of month. It will return uh, the day. Uh, hmm? uh, so int. Okay. Time. Okay, we can use time.
There we go. This, uh... So is new is uh this new period okay. Okay, so is new period is a boolean, so we want it to okay, so we have this. Let's see, I think this is going to work. So are we going to see it? Um, um so we have a new day here. New day here. Uh, yeah. New day here, so we have a big changes here. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to change time frame to see better. Yeah, I think it works. That's, it works. That's clearer. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it looks like we have like one hour delay. Maybe it's due to the time zone. So you know. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, we have this. So if we change it to exchange, maybe. Yeah. So this, that was it. So. So what is that, what I did what I did here is that uh, I used uh, I checked on the on the bar each on each bar uh, did the day change or not basically <laughs> and, yeah yeah sure and if it change it means uh, we have a new period so this is going to, this is going to be true and uh, we can start calculating the VWAP once again yeah and we sure. have uh, so, okay. Yeah. So, cool. We managed to do it. Yeah, well done. I say we. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Any question uh, so far? No, no. That's been really helpful. Yeah, I, I'll try and code the other bits and okay and get back and yeah, get so back so to just, you. You should be able to to do that. Yeah. And try, try, try to do the, the shorts also as well. Yeah, I'll try and yeah, that'll be a bit of homework for me in the next couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was really useful. Oh, um, I'll definitely do that again. That's really good. So you have already, uh, I see you, you you have already taken session on Fiverr? Yeah, with I've other, done it. Yeah. Uh, with other, what's your experience so far? Did you, did you find it useful? Or? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, and it's, it's better than having someone code it for you. At least you can understand the logic and how things are put together. Okay, and compared compared to other um, uh, other um, sellers on Fiverr, what do what do you think of my session? Yeah, it's great. It's really good. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Enjoyed okay. it. Yeah. So. Uh, cool. I will send the script that, uh, so this, I will send it to you through Fiverr. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, in a text file. So yeah. you, you can copy it and uh, add it to Perfect. your trading view. Yeah, yeah, correct. I'll, li I'll leave you a glowing review. <laughs> <laughs> it all helps, doesn't it, on Fiverr and all that nonsense. Yeah, I'm getting started, so it will yeah, help yeah. definitely. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool. All right, perfect. Well, I hope you feel better. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'll um, I'll try coding. Yeah, uh, that was cool. Uh, it was a pleasure. Yeah, thanks. All right, cool. Man. See you later. Have a good day. You too, buddy. Take care.